Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for October 23rd, read by Cindy L. from Fort Worth, Texas. AA thoughts for the day. Discipline. Unless each AA member follows to the best of his ability our suggested 12 steps to recovery, he almost certainly signs his own death warrant. His drunkenness and dissolution are not penalties inflicted by people in authority. They result from his personal disobedience to spiritual principles. Great suffering and great love are AA's disciplinarians. We need no others. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 174. Thought to Consider We alcoholics are undisciplined, so we let God discipline us. Acronyms Cards Call your sponsor Ask for help from your higher power Read the big book Do the 12 steps Stay active in your group Just for today No spiritual angle from AA and St. Thomas Hospital. In later years, the AA ward opened into the gallery of the chapel, which patients could visit at any time in hospital attire. What could be more conducive to the regeneration of the whole person spiritually, mentally, and morally than five to seven days spent in an institution where the spiritual atmosphere prevails, Sister Ignatia said. She naturally put more emphasis on the spiritual than many others. However, she felt that Dr. Bob shared her views on this emphasis. There was one thing that always irritated Dr., she said. Some people who were on the program for a length of time would come up to him and say, I don't get the spiritual angle. I heard him say time and again, there is no spiritual angle. It's a spiritual program. Dr. Bob and the Good Old Timers, page 194. Daily Reflections, What We Know Best Shoemaker, stick to thy last. Better do one thing supremely well than many badly. That is the central theme of this tradition. Five. Around it, our society gathers in unity. The very life of our fellowship requires the preservation of this principle. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 150. The survival of AA depends upon unity. What would happen if a group decided to become an employment agency, a treatment center, or a social service agency? Too much specialization leads to no specialization, to frittering of efforts, and finally to decline. I have the qualifications to share my sufferings and my way of recovery with the newcomer. Conformity to AA's primary purpose ensures the safety of the wonderful gift of sobriety, so my responsibility is enormous. The life of millions of alcoholics is closely tied to my competence in carrying the message to the still-suffering alcoholic. As Bill sees it, daily inventory. Often, as we review each day, only the closest scrutiny will reveal what our true motives were. There are cases where our ancient enemy, rationalization, has stepped in and justified conduct which was really wrong. The temptation here is to imagine that we had good motives and reasons when we really hadn't. We constructively criticize someone who needed it when our real motive was to win a useless argument. Were the person concerned not being present, we thought we were helping others to understand him when in actuality our true motive was to feel superior by pulling him down. We hurt those we loved because they needed to be taught a lesson, but really we wanted to punish. We were depressed and complained we felt bad, when in fact we were mainly asking for sympathy and attention. 12 and 12, page 94. Big Book Quote The actual or potential alcoholic, with hardly an exception, will be absolutely unable to stop drinking on the basis of self-knowledge. This is a point we wish to emphasize and re-emphasize, to smash home upon our alcoholic readers as it has been revealed to us out of bitter experience. 
Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition, More About Alcoholism, page 39. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. Third, I have learned how to be honest. What a relief. No more ducking or dodging. No more tall tales. No more pretending to be what I have not. My cards are on the table for all the world to see. I am what I am, as Popeye used to say in the comics. I have had an unsavory past. I am sorry yet, but it cannot be changed now. All that is yesterday and is done. But now my life is an open book. Come and look at it if you want to. I'm trying to do the best I can. I will fail often, but I won't make excuses. I will face things as they are and not run away. Am I really honest? Meditation for the day. Though it may seem a paradox, we must believe in spiritual forces which we cannot see more than in material things which we can see if we are going to truly live. In the last analysis, the universe consists more of thought or mathematical formulas than it does of matter as we understand it. Between one human being and another, only spiritual forces will suffice to keep them in harmony. These spiritual forces we know because we can see their results, although we cannot see them. A changed life, a new personality, results from the power of unseen spiritual forces working in us and through us. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may believe in the unseen. I pray that I may be convinced by the results of the unseen, which I do see. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I am Cindy, and I am an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.